I'd like to start this one out by saying that you might find this newish, as I'll be discussing the, the XOR swap. Swapping the values of two variables is a beginner programming problem. The goal here is to make a hold value of P and vice versa. The first approach is to use the third variable as a temporary storage. We store the value of A in temp, as we'll be overriding the value in A with the value in B, and then assign the value in temp, that was the original value of A, to B, which will complete the process of swapping. There are actually infinitely many ways that you can employ to do the swap without having to use extra storage. But the XOR swap will be the fastest among them, at least as far as I know. The instructions go as follows. XOR is a bitwise operation, so we need to get into the binary representation of these numbers. I won't be showing all the 32 bits integers sold for obvious reasons. In the first line of the operation, we're changing the value of A, so I'll treat B as a mask and change the bits in A. Masking with a 1 will flip the bit. Masking with a 0 will not change anything. So we get 0, 1, 0, 1 in A after the first line. On the second line, B's value is going to change, so I bring it to the left and treat the value of A as the mask. We flip the bits of B wherever there's a 1 in A. Now again, we treat the new value of B as the mask and operate on A, flipping the bits of A wherever there's a 1 in B. Arriving at a state where A, when converted back to decimals, contains the original value of B and B contains the original value of A, completing the swap. Let's have a look at why this works. We can prove this by simple substitution. These A's here can be substituted with the value we assign to this A, which is going to give us these statements. And I'll color code the original values so that there will be a distinction between the new and old values of A and B. Okay, the XOR operation is associative. So I can XOR B with B first and then XOR its result with A, which will be A XOR 0, that will simply be A, getting us the original value of A stored in B. Now this B here is going to be equal to the original value of A contained in this B. And since XOR is commutative, I can bring the A inside the parens and move B outside. A XOR A is 0 and 0 XOR B is going to be B, swap complete. Although, there is a catch with this set of instructions, an edge case for which this wouldn't swap the values, but destroy the data instead. For people who don't already know about it, do try to figure it out. That is all from me for this one. Thanks for watching.